Good morning, Twin Tiers. This is WENY News. Good morning, Twin Tiers. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's a quick look at what's making news this morning. The Vestal Police Department needs your help finding this man. According to police, 59-year-old Victor Tabanchika was last seen on Wednesday morning. He's described as a white male, about 5 feet 9 inches tall and 165 pounds. And he's believed to be wearing a tan Columbia coat and tan boots. Anyone with information is asked to call the Vestal Police Department at 754-2111. Today, over 1,000 holiday wreaths will be laid on veterans' graves in Woodlawn National Cemetery. The National Wreaths Across, Across America event started in Arlington National Cemetery, but Cameron Manufacturing and Design from Horseheads decided to sponsor the event for our, our area this year. The wreath-laying ceremony was supposed to happen last Saturday, but there was a mix-up with the wreath delivery. Now the wreaths are ready to be displayed. We didn't think it would be as big as it is. We expected, we were hoping for 500 wreaths. Uh, the final tally that, will, that is here now um, is 1,008. Volunteers are welcome to help lay the wreaths at Woodlawn starting at 10 o'clock this morning. The Salvation Army has a few days left of its Red Kettle campaign, and this week the local branch got a few unusual donations. Major Craig Haggerty says someone dropped a $20 gold coin in one of the kettles, and they got a one-pound copper block in the mail. Haggerty says he has to have them appraised, but he guesses the block is worth around $80 and the coin about $1,000. He says this is actually the fourth gold coin they've gotten here in Elmira in the past few years. That does it for us. Make sure to check us out online or follow us on Facebook or Twitter for all important news, weather and sports updates. Have a great weekend, everyone.